Today we're learning how to make these nice leaves in PowerPoint. Let's start from a blank slide and create a oval shape, put a gradient on top of it, duplicate it, and reduce the size so it fits inside, and then rotate it 180 degrees so the gradients match on the opposite side. Duplicate and rotate. Do that a few times so you can get the shape of the flower that you want. You can increase or decrease the size of the leaves as you want. Next, let's add a circle in the middle, put an orange gradient on top of it, and that will be the center piece. Let's make the color a little bit darker, that's better. Right click format shape and add a drop shadow. Do the same for the leaves. And that looks pretty cool. Select everything, right click, save as picture, and then you can save it as a PNG, which you can use everywhere. You can really scale it up, scale it down, doesn't really matter in all presentations. If you don't do that and you just group them, you can also do that, but you see it snaps to different leaves and it doesn't really recognize it as one shape. So I advise to save them as a PNG. Duplicate the slide and create the different colors. So let's maybe go for blue one this time. Outer leaves, inner leaves, we can just change the gradient. Same thing here, group everything together, save as a picture, and then you have a nice blue leaf. Let's make a white one. Change the background. Drop shadow. Save it. And then maybe a green one. And this way we have a few variations of the flowers. Let's make a different version, so a smaller one. You can take the leaf and just shrink and just compress the size, duplicate it a few times, play around with the sizes, and you can see you instantly get a different type of flower shape. Group them together, save as, and you know the drill. You can also play with the different sizes, so for example, very thin leaves and, very, and a little bit thicker leaves. You can rotate them, you can color them. Let's put a red one in the back. Slightly larger leaves, rotate them. And maybe a green one, we can copy them from the previous slides, that doesn't matter. Increase the size, duplicate, rotate, and put it to the back. That looks pretty neat, center everything together and then add the finishing touch. Next thing we drop everything onto a slide and we start spreading around so you can Ctrl C, Ctrl V or you can Alt or Option drag and there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you liked the tutorial and hope to see you in the next video.